All right, everybody. Uh, I don't even know what table I'm on. Okay, I've got a compressor. You know, they call it a pump. I've seen it called a motor. What it really is, it's an air pump. It pumps air into a tank. These, I, I've actually been surprised. These have been selling quite well out of the warehouse, probably because of our price of them. Now, if you've got a big old compressor at home or in your shop, wow, the piston just, just there's compression in the pistons. When this thing rolled, it made a little, a little compression sound. Let's see if I can recreate that. Whoa. All right, getting good compression, folks. All you do, you hook this up to a big motor. Now, this is going to need something like what? A two horsepower to a five horsepower motor. Maybe a two horsepower would run it. And notice that it's got the pulley. It's got the pulley on one end of it. It's a dual piston uh, head for your compressor. And this is actually the, the, um, uh, the pump part, the air pump part of it. You can see that there's an oil window in here. There's an oil gauge over here. There's even a place to add oil. Retail price on these, which one, what was this one, $100? Anybody, anybody? I don't see a tag on it. I had two or three different sizes. The double piston compressor pump. 150 Okay, see, I was off on that. Glad I asked. Thank you, sir. It's a $150 retail price. You call and you give me a bid. Or come by the warehouse. I have different sizes of these. Call and give me a bid. Okay, I have a license plate cover. This is hard plastic. It's clear. It'll keep those love bugs from messing up your license plate. And uh, I swear, they'll get so covered sometimes you can't even read the license plate because of those bugs. Uh, do you have June bugs? It's like a beetle, grubs that come up out of the ground. Y'all have those, okay. What about a, a, um, a chupacabres? You got those? Chupacabres? All right. They know what I'm talking about out there in TV land. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Okay. You got those too? Okay. All right. Call and give me a bid. I'm not selling a chupacabre. I'm selling a license plate cover. Call and tell me what that's worth. All right, the next item I have for you is a power inverter. Now, you know what these are for. These are for converting the electricity that comes from your car battery into regular household current that you can plug appliances into. Notice there's an on-off switch. There's two plugs there because this is a pretty powerful inverter. There's a cooling fan, a ground wire with a wing nut on it. Now, I don't have any cables here. You're going to have to provide your own wiring for this. Now, these power, this power inverter is 1,000 watts continuous use. And the retail price, $99. Call and give me a bid on this item. It's a power inverter. Nice. Okay, the next item I have for you is a Cirrus accessory kit. Now, if you have a Cirrus radio, then you could use this. If you don't have a Cirrus radio, you cannot use this. This gives you an extra antenna for your Cirrus radio. It gives you an AC adapter for your Cirrus radio. It gives you a docking base for your Cirrus radio. There's a place back here to plug in the adapter, the antenna, and even an audio cable to run it out to your home stereo. Call and give me a bid on the Cirrus radio accessory kit, $25 retail price. You know, I'm thinking that, prob that item probably would run more like $40. It's calling, it's calling it plug and play. So I guess it automatically communicates with your Cirrus radio. It's made by JVC. You call and you give me a bid. The Cirrus tuner is not included. You know what? I think we have a Cirrus tuner. There is nothing wrong with those, um, those uh, Cirrus radios that we have. It's just you need a subscription to them. Folks, I do have some Cirrus radios if you want to come buy them in the warehouse. All right. Of course, you've got to pay a monthly fee for them to work. The next item I have for you is going to be a goodie of sort. I don't know what kind of goodie yet. We're going to find out together. I got some bedhead, lip liner. I got bedhead, three-in-one stick. I got foot scrub for softer feet. I've got a toothbrush holder with a, um, a toothbrush still in the plastic in there. I've got a Revlon lipstick, and I've got a Revlon lip gloss. And I've got a uh, Rimmel Cool Mat, 16 hour. This is SPF foundation. I've got Rimmel Staymate pressed powder. Notice the lid's cracked on that. And I got Rimmel bronzing powder. That's a, this is one of them 
50 60 dollar cosmetic goodies right here call and give me a bid on that item okay i got a cd boom box for you let's find a picture that's not scribbled on these they sell them at the family dollar store for 20 bucks and um this this one the cd player is broken but the am fm radio does work on there all right call and give me a bid this item right here is an ironing board cover. It's got tulips, it's got daisies, it's got a, a fleece backing, and it's got an elastic band all the way around. It's not a cheapie. It's a good ironing board cover for a full-size ironing board. Retail price on this, $10. They call it a rainbow ironing board cover. All right, on the table, are the, the skis are on this table. I see how they're barely laying on that area. All right, folks, I got skis for you. Man, oh, man. You're planning a ski vacation. Actually, the ski people already are making their reservations, right, for December and January ski trips. So now's the time you start planning those. So really, this is good timing on these. I got two sets of skis in here in a zippered bag. You know, these bags, these are the kind you send them on, put them on the train. Oh, man, that is really bizarre. I know this family. Gil Kimmelman. I know where these came from now. They own a Western Wear store in El Paso. Very old founding family. But anyway, they're friends with the owner. I got two sets of skis. Oh, they're different brands too, man. I never even looked at the skis in the bag. The skis in the bag are K2. Oh, this is nice. You know, I already getting, I'm getting an idea what I think this is worth what I think you should pay for this. I think you should buy the bag and both pairs of skis for a hundred bucks. And that's a smoking deal. I found a used set of these, uh, these are, they're called 1202 Precision. These are made by Pre, which I think Pre has changed their name. I tried to re research these on the internet. They've got Solomon uh, bindings, right? Would that be how I say that? I'm not a skier, so again, I don't know. I tell you, these came from some rich folks. I do know. They go to the synagogue with the owner. You know, he's from El Paso that, that now lives in Beaumont. And the reason I know this, my sister is a Kimmelman. My sister married, married into the Kimmelman family in Dallas. But this is the El Paso Kimmelmans. But they know each other. Um, so these are used. They're nice skis. These are, they own um, maybe the El Paso Saddle and Blanket Company. It's old El Paso Western wear, huh? Anyway, that's the story behind these. These came out of Adam's garage when we had to go clean up all that stuff. So that's where I got these skis from. So retail price on them, brand new, 200 bucks for each pair of skis and maybe $50 for the bag. So I'm saying about $450. They're used. I found a used set of those pre-skis selling for $100 on the internet. So as usual, I want to sell it for half of what, every, of what they're worth. So I'm thinking you give me 100 bucks, but I don't know. I still haven't decided whether I'm going to put this up for bids or put a $100 minimum on it. If you're planning a ski trip, this is great. What was the other brand? One was Pre and the other one was K2. All right, K2 is still around. Infrared LP gas heater. This hooks up to your propane tank. It's in the box. We're going to start needing heaters pretty soon. I bet we're going to need three or four of these in the warehouse. We got propane right outside the door, right? I've already decided that's what we're heating with is, is going to be these. They're infrared heaters. They sit right up on top of your propane tank. They sell for $60 a piece. They have um, their 15,000 BTUs per hour and they've got auto starts on them. Call and give me a bid on that. Now below that I've got a little Spectron DVD player. Uh, I do not have the remote to this. The retail price is $50. Call and give me a bid. That's the 10 items on the table. Boy, that's a big old table. Call and give me a bid. Call now. Let's fill the bitter board up.